So here is another question on half wave rectifier circuit. So here uh, it has been asked to prove or to show that the maximum DC output power in a half wave rectifier it occurs when the load resistance is equal to the diode forward, resist forward resistance. Okay, so first let us draw the circuit for a half wave rectifier. So we have uh, the AC supply then we have the diode with a certain forward resistance and then we have a load resistance this is the supply so here for the half wave rectifier here it has been asked the DC output power we know that the DC output power is given by IDC square into RL IDC is equal to IM by pi or I max or peak value of current divided by pi so we know that the maximum value of current I max is equal to V max the maximum value of the supply voltage divided by RF plus RL this so the IDC will be equal to I max by pi that will be equal to V max by pi into RF plus RL this is important important equation IDC so the DC output power which is equal to IDC square into RL that is equal to V max by pi into RF plus RL whole square into RL okay this this much which is equal to V max whole square by pi square into RF plus RL whole square into RL this now here RL is variable and this is the depending parameter okay VDC output okay which is you know it has to be maximum that will occur when we differentiate the output DC output power with respect to the load resistance the variable load resistance so PDC output the output power DC output power will be maximum when this will be equal to zero if you remember the statement of maximum power transfer theorem this is the same as that maximum power transfer theorem so we will differentiate this okay PDC output which is given by this so D by DRL of this much D by DRL of V max square by pi square into RF plus RL whole square into RL here the numerator so here the constants will take out that is equal to V max whole square by pi square then D by DRL of RL by RF plus RL whole square simple derivative differentiation so U by V which is equal to V max whole square by pi square then it is V constant that is RF plus RL 
whole square that is denominator constant derivative of this d by drl of rl minus u constant that is numerator constant derivative of rf plus rl whole square divided by denominator whole square that is rf plus rl whole square whole square this then it is equal to v max square by pi square rf plus rl whole square because drl by drl is equal to 1 minus rl into this will be 2 into rf plus rl then d by drl of rf plus rl rf is constant it will be 0 rl again it will be drl by drl it will be equal to 1 so this will be the remaining equation of the numerator then this denominator will be rf plus rl whole square whole square now this should be equal to 0 for maximum output dc power that implies everything else will go to this side and become 0 we are only left with rf plus rl whole square minus 2 rl into rf plus rl this much that is equal to 0 that implies a plus b whole square rf square plus rl square plus 2 rf rl minus 2 uh, rl rf minus 2 rl whole square equals to 0 this gets cancelled then rf square plus rl square minus 2 rl square is equal to minus rl square that is equal to 0 that implies rf square is equal to plus minus r as resistance cannot be negative so that implies rf should be equal to r the load resistance should be equal to the diode forward resistance okay it is proved same way as maximum power transfer theorem for maximum power to be transferred to the load resistance the load resistance should be equal to the source resistance in dc okay for dc okay not for ac then becomes it should be the complex conjugate of the load emitters that's that we are not discussing here for dc simply load resistance should be equal to the source resistance same as that same as maximum power transfer theorem okay which is applied to here electronic half wave rectifier circuit okay so basic application of uh, maximum power transfer theorem first we determine the expression of dc output power this is equal to idc square into rl we determine idc idc is i m max by pi i max is v v max by rf plus rl we substituted the values to determine idc square into rl the expression of dc output power then as here the variable parameter is load resistance so we differentiated this whole expression with respect to rl that occurs when the dc output power maximum it occurs when the derivative of the dc output power with respect to the load resistance is equal to zero then we just got the final relationship here okay rl is equal to rf okay